This has traditionally been one of the great departments in the world. We've had accomplishments that have changed the landscape of physics. When I was asked to be chair, I was so honored to even be asked to, to, to lead this great department. This department has particular strengths in these three areas that we've identified as for our future, which is the physics of the universe, physics at the quantum scale, and biophysics. Biophysics is an interdisciplinary field that lies at the interface of physics, chemistry, and biology. So biophysics, which is an emerging field, has a lot to promise by basically developing more advanced techniques and more advanced theoretical tools to understand the mechanism in biology. The history of astrophysics at Berkeley, and particularly in the physics department, uh, is really wonderful. There's been a, a number of really fundamental discoveries uh, made at Berkeley, uh, leading uh, to uh, some recent Nobel Prizes. The greatest strengths of this department are unequivocally its people. It's the faculty, the students, the undergraduates and graduate students, and the staff. My research is focused on the study of nanostructures. I'm an experimentalist and so I perform experiments on different types of nanostructures. Some of the potential applications of my research would be, for example, in the miniaturization of different kinds of devices. As you make devices smaller and smaller, people are interested in, in incorporating nanostructures into electronic devices. I have developed a fluorescence technique that can locate the position of one dye molecule with one nanometer precision and we apply this method to understand how molecular motors walk inside cells. These are nature's tiniest bipedals. In my research, we build uh, telescopes and detectors uh, that go behind the telescopes, and these are all to uh, look at the cosmic microwave background, which is the faint radio background radiation that's left over from the Big Bang. My research overlaps considerably with the work of condensed matter theorists. We are in an era where there is a very close connection between experimentalists and theorists. There is a lot of interest by many theorists uh, in the results that we're producing. Collaborations amongst physicists are, are, are a crucial aspect. You don't do it by yourself, basically. Once we have a theory and we're excited about it, it's straight back to the ex our experimental friends to figure out how can we test this theory. And I think that's, in a sense, the most exciting bit. So really we do everything uh, uh, from A to Z that you need to do to answer the physics question. And that's very characteristic of a physics department approach to uh, doing research. Students in the Berkeley Physics Department have an enormous range of opportunities. The researchers here are engaged in some of the most exciting research anywhere. There's just a, an enormous range of opportunities. I think it's a very, uh, just a great place to go to school for them. At graduate school, you're learning how to think as a physicist. You're, you're, you're really learning these tools. Advanced Lab is taken by all of our physics majors, regardless of whether they're interested in being an experimental physicist or a theoretical physicist or a banker or a teacher. These people have been doing book problems and learning out of equations for years, and here's a chance to confront that with nature. You'll be learning about quantum mechanics, you'll be learning about electricity and magnetism, you'll be doing all sorts of work in various courses that gets tied together here. So we consider the advanced lab the capstone of the physics major because a lot of pieces lead up to it and it ties it all together at the end. We saw that there was a big problem with retention in physics in that students who came into physics often just decided or were told that it was too hard for them and that they couldn't finish their major. The Compass Project was created to try to build an environment where students could collaborate with one another, and, and build community before they even arrived at Cal. Coming to Cal as a freshman, it was, it was a very unique uh, opportunity for me and an experience for me. Compass was a great way to kind of get me integrated into the school. It's just been a delightful experience and it just makes me love Berkeley.